Warning. Warning. You are entering the territory far from your safe space. You must turn back now, or you will become informed. Go. Now. Get back to breaking news where we are live outside Carolina's Medical Center now in Charlotte, where three law enforcement officers shot in York County are being treated. Four injured officers include uh, three York County Sheriff's deputies and a uh, city police officer from uh, the city of York, South Carolina, in the upstate uh, region there. Uh, authorities say it all began with a domestic violence call just after 10 o'clock last deputies night. Deputies just moved us off of Parham Road. I am now at New Home AME Zion Church. It's right on Charlotte Highway, not far beyond the intersection of Parham Road. And just behind me here is actually where they were landing those helicopters earlier this morning to get those uh, injured deputies onto the uh, helicopter and get them to the hospital. So this was uh, staged as kind of a landing area for uh, for the helicopter earlier. It was also where uh, a lot of law enforcement, uh, EMS, fire crews were staged earlier this yeah, morning. Yeah, say the suspect, 47-year-old Christian Thomas McCall, had left on foot, so the sheriff's office brought in canine units to track him. Investigators say just after one in the morning, the suspect shot and injured one of those canine officers. Another deputy transported him to the hospital in a patrol car, and Around 3.30 this morning, three more officers were shot. Two of them were taken to the hospital by helicopter and another by ground. At this time, authorities are not releasing the officers' names or their conditions. Is everybody ready? appreciate y'all coming, but um, as you can imagine, today's been very rough and busy for us here at the York County Sheriff's Office family, and we appreciate everything you've done for us so far. Um, this is going to be a very short briefing. You probably will have more questions after I'm done, but there is very limited things I can tell you at this point because it's a very active and very fluid investigation going on right now. But I hope I can help um, give you some more details that can help you with your stories today. And we do hope to have another briefing later on this afternoon prior to your um, evening newscasts. Um, and hopefully Sheriff Tolson will be here for that. As you can imagine, he's been up in Charlotte with his officers at the hospital. And, um, He's been also very busy today. Um, but just to get everybody back up to speed, I'm going to repeat a lot of the details I told you from earlier this morning just to get everybody back on the same page. Um, approximately 10.08 this morning, or excuse me, yesterday evening on uh, January 15th, deputies responded to a domestic violence call at 3042 Farrier Lane in the, uh, outside the city of York. That's off South Parham Road. At 10.20 p.m., the first officer arrived on scene. By that time, the suspect, Christian Thomas McCall, 47 years old, had, re had been reported to have assaulted a female, and he ran from the home on foot. York County Sheriff's Office canine units were called out to the scene to track the suspect, and shortly after the track, canine track began, the suspect fired shots at the canine unit, hitting one of the officers. The bloodhound was not injured, as many of you have been asking. With assistance from surrounding agencies, we began actively searching for the suspect. At approximately 3.30 this morning, during that search, shots were fired again, and at that time, three more officers were hit. One was a York Police Department officer who is a member of the York County Sheriff's Office SWAT team. Two are York County Sheriff's Office deputies who are also members of our SWAT team. And as you know, the York County Sheriff's K-9 officer was also hit. He was taken to the hospital. Two officers were taken to CMC Maine in Charlotte by air. 
one by ground. One out of the four officers is out of surgery and in recovery at this time. The others are at some point in surgery, either waiting surgery or in the middle of surgery at this time. One officer was critically wounded and his situation is very critical at this time. And that's all I could tell you about his condition. However, we really could use your thoughts and prayers from the members of the community for that officer and his family and all the members of the York County Sheriff's Office family. The suspect, Christian Thomas McCall, was also taken into custody. He sustained gunshot wounds and was taken to the hospital. He is also at CMC Maine in Charlotte in surgery. At this point in time, the South Carolina State Law Enforcement Division, or SLED, is handling the investigation at the request of Sheriff Tolson and is here to provide support to the York County Sheriff's Office as needed. Several, several units from other agencies and surrounding agencies helped out with this case earlier this evening. We can't thank them all, and if I miss them all, I apologize, but a total of 47 units from the York County Sheriff's Office were on scene. We had units from York Police Department, Fort Mill Police Department, South Carolina Highway Patrol, TGK Police Department, Rock Hill Police Department, SLED, and also the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. As I said, we'd like to have another briefing later on this afternoon, hopefully with some good news about the conditions of our officers. I'll be able to answer a few questions at this time, but remember this is a fluid, active, ongoing investigation, and it will be very limited to the answers I can give you. Andrew? Mr. Ferris, uh, were the officers who were injured wearing any kind of protective gear at the time? The SWAT officers were. They were wearing their SWAT issued uh, gear. Can yes, you tell us anything about the call that led to all this, that domestic violence call? Uh, the call came out originally as a domestic violence call where the uh, suspect was uh, at the time actively assaulting a female at the home and um, after the 911 was called he fled the home. And that, do you have anywhere on that female's condition of being assaulted? No sir I don't. Do you have a female his wife? I don't have that information I don't know. Can you repeat the threat of the man about the condition of the officer? One York Police Department officer who's a member of our SWAT team, two York County Sheriff's Office deputies who are also members of our SWAT team, and York County Sheriff's Office canine officer were all the ones who were shot. One out of four of those officers is in recovery and out of surgery. The others are in some point on the process of surgery. Now, like I said, one officer is critically wounded and his situation is very critical, and again, could really use a lot of prayer and thoughts from members of our community. Trent, can you say if you've been called to that house before on anything similar? Like I said, it's an active ongoing investigation and we will have more details on that uh, when they come. So like I said, it's a very brief news briefing and I appreciate it. We'll have something later on again this afternoon uh, when Sheriff Tolson gets back to the office. Thank you very much.